Hello, good evening, my name is Modi Apparatus, and welcome to a look at Stranded Sails, Explorers of the Cursed Islands. This game is a new uh, quest open world game, uh, a farming adventure game is what they're calling it. It's, it seems like it's very much informed by Zelda and Stardew Valley. So if you're into those kinds of games, this seems like it'd be up your alley. It is going to come out on Steam, on Switch, Xbox, and PS4 on October 17th, so not long away here. This is just the demo for it, the prologue is what they're calling it. Um, if you want to play this demo for yourself, there will be a link down in the description below. You click that link, you sign up for their mailing list, and then they'll email you the link to the demo. Um, I wanted to make sure we're not foregoing anything and just providing the link for you guys. I want at least to go through the proper channels here and do follow their thing, get their mailing list, whatever. You can unsubscribe later if you want to. Um, so we're going to check this out for as long as the demo is here. I think it's probably about 30 minutes or so. We'll, we'll see how long it goes. But uh, it's kind of this kind of cool piratey farming adventure. I don't know. I don't know what to expect with it, but it looked great in the, the trailers that I saw of it. And uh, I've been looking forward to this one for a long time. So let's get in with the game here. Let's see what it's all about. Uh, am, am I Claire? Let's go with some Modi. Right. Let's just go Modi. Eh, let's go with Modi. All right. Start adventure. We have some soup. And we've just... Oh, it's a dream, I see. An uncharted dream. What is this place? It doesn't look like your home, nor does it look like Father's Frigate. This island does look nice and welcoming, though. You should explore it. Who knows what secrets it might hide. So, uh... Oh, got a little, little frame stick. Okay. We, 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 a whole shift to run? Explore the world. Okay. Let's see what we find. Follow the coast here a little bit. We got a little path here going on. Oop. Huh? What kind of exotic bird was that? Looks like it flew up to this plateau. You should see if you can find it. Oh, sure, yeah. Don't get exhausted, it says. Oh, what's that all about down there? Looks interesting. Can I fall off here? Oh, uh, it doesn't look like it. Can I jump? No, no jumping. Okay. It's fine. It's a Zelda-esque adventure, it said. So, I mean, jumping is not usually a thing. Sometimes it is. Depends on the game. Hello, bird. Inspect the parrot. Oh, I'm here for your parrot inspection. Greetings, Modi. How do you know my name? Ahem, squawk. You seem surprised. I understand it is impressive for someone like you to see such a formidable bird. Especially with this breathtakingly colorful plumage of mine. Oh, and is it the fact that I'm talking to you? Do birds not talk where you're from? That is truly a shame. Actually, parrots do. It's not that impressive. Birds can see so many interesting things we could tell you about. Well then, there seems to be no explanation for my existence other than you are in a dream. Your own, that is. Squawk! Although you have dreamed up this nice, cozy little island, dreams are not meant to stay in forever. You would not want to miss your great journey tomorrow, would you? When the time comes, enter the cabin of the shipwreck to return home. Now, let me assist you in this adventurous dream of yours. You look quite hungry. Would you like an apple? Well, that's some magical powers you have there. I guess it's dream powers. You're a dream parrot. No problem. You see, I have many surprises for you. Squawk! Take an apple from this barrel to regenerate some of your energy. You will need it for what I have planned for you. What do you have planned for me? Always have an eye on your energy. I do not think you would want to pass out somewhere in the wilderness, would you? If you ever get tired, come back here and take another one of those apples. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we're in a dream. We can't really sleep in a dream. So our energy is up here, looks like. By running around and just spending, spending time throughout the day here. What is this guy about? What's in here? Ooh, I got some seeds. Cool. So I'm guessing that this whole, this whole, uh... This whole prologue, as they're calling it, the demo here, is just kind of taking place within this dream world here. Just to kind of get familiar with the game. That's fine. I'm, I'm happy to check it out. If you have the right component, you can build a bridge here. Okay, I need a component. Can I uh, harvest trees or anything like that? I can get up there, though. Can I, I can't jump, though. Is there another jump button, maybe? Well, we'll find out. Maybe there's a way to climb. I'm trying another button here just to see if there's a jump, but maybe not. Not everything has to have a jump. Oh, here we go. What's this? I can't fall off ledges, so I don't think I have a jump. What do we have here? More corn seeds. Okay. So it seems like farming is a big component of this. It's a farming adventure. If I had to guess from the, what I've seen of the previews here, we're going to be on a, a boat at some point towards the beginning of the game here, it looks like. Oh, look, a shovel. 
You found a shovel. Hey, heavy shovel. First tool. Open the tools select section selection to equip it and use to prepare fields for planting crops or digging up buried treasures. Digging is a tedious task. Don't get exhausted. Okay, so press B to open inventory. Uh, let's see. Inspect. Heavy shovel. Got that. Select the tool. Uh, press B to close this. Let's do this. There we go. T tool selection. There we go. There we go. We have to open that up like that. And we can dig. Choose a seed. Uh, there we go. Oh, like this. I see. Okay. Collect everything. That's the, that's the, that's the rules, huh? Gotta make sure I maintain my energy here. Um, so if I just use my, can I use my shovel here? I can't dig here, it looks like. Let's find some place I can dig. I mean, I can't plant crops on the beach. That would make a lot of sense to plant crops in the sand. I want to check out this little thing over here, though. Talk to the parrot. Okay, we got to back and talk to the parrot. Let's want to see what this is, though, first, before we do that. There's a solid plate embedded into the ground. If you have the right component, you can create a ladder here. Okay. So making a ladder is the other step here. Let's sprint back to the bird. Because we'll have some apples there waiting for us, too. An infinite supply of dream apples. Hello, bird. What do you got going on for us? Great, Modi. Now look, you look fit and energetic, ready for some work. Let me teach you some things about farming. Squawk. I will show you how to grow your own crops. You look cook delicious food. I am not, I am sure it cannot hurt to learn such skills. Just imagine something happens while you're on, while you're on for, on your journey, for, I probably supposed to say there. For example, a voyage? Oh yeah. When you're on, for example, your voyage? There, that's what I was trying to say. Got it. Just got to keep reading. Somehow some, someone stranded on a lonely island would surely profit from such knowledge. Oh, you're foreshadowing, I see. Digress. Okay. Like a real farmer, you'll need to find tools to properly plant and care for your crops. Of course, you need also need seeds to sow. Why not take a look around this island? It'd be quite a coincidence if all the things would just be lying around. It'd be some kind of dream. Okay, find a bucket, find a shovel. Um, where's a bucket? Well, like, kind of, did I find a way up there? Oh, there's a bucket. Look at that. We just came back too soon. Oh, I forgot to eat an apple before we went too. You found a bucket. All right. And over here, more seeds. Corn seeds. All right. Uh, we're going to need like an axe or something to get through there, I'm thinking. Okay. Talk to the parrot some more. He will guide us through. Hello, bird. Greetings, Modi. I see you found everything you need to start your own farm. What are you waiting for? Take out the shovel and start digging. The ground inside this fenced area is fertile and perfect for growing healthy crops. By digging into fertile ground, you will prepare fields for planting, yada yada. Plant crops by selecting a seed using an impaired field. Don't forget to water the thirsty crops. They'll not grow while they're dry. All right. So we have designated areas we can grow in. Um, oh, it takes a long time though. I gotta eat these apples. So I have three seeds. I just got to dig three holes then. Nice. Okay. And then we grab our seeds and we put one there. And then we need to use our bucket. I need to fill it with water. Water your corn. Uh, here's some fresh water, I'm guessing. Don't use salt water. That would be a bad idea. Oh, there's a quick select. I see. Oh, I don't. Oh, when I switch off my. Uh, when I switch off my shovel, I lose my water. That's good to know. Too much water. Don't water too much. Don't water too much. Okay, there we go. Hey. Uh. I wanted to go through this tutorial thing on the left here quick. I want to just make sure we got that done. Uh, select the seed. Okay, I can't do that anymore. All right, fine. We'll just ignore that for now. 
Modi, it's great to see you're able to hold your own farming ground. I am impressed you managed to handle a tool as complex as a bucket. When I was your age, watering crops would have been a da too daunting of a task for me. I am choking, of course. Good job, Modi. Now <laughs> your crops will need some time to ripen. Let us use this opportunity to learn about something new. Fishing. Fish is a great addition to any recipe. You'll make some energizing dishes. You'll need a fishing rod to catch some fish. I might have seen one down at the western beach. Let me help you get down there. Follow the path down the wooden stairs. When you've found your very own fishing rod, try it out. Ruffled spots in the water. Surface indicate a high density of fish. Prepare perfect for fishing. Show me that you can catch a wild fish. Oh, and if you find some more seeds, make sure to plant them. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Can I just go open hand? There we go. I'm gonna need a lot more apples. Okay, so it said follow the, this path right over here. Of course. Okay. It's that guy. We got onion seeds. And an onion. Alright. That saves me some hassle. So there's a lot more to this than I thought. I didn't, how did I not see that, that kind of bridge before? That uh, wooden, wooden area. It said there's a fishing rod someplace by the shore. This is not it, though. But more more plants is good. We got potatoes. Nice. Okay. Down with that. This is kind of a nice premise for a... Ooh, there's a crab right there. Ooh, look, look at that. Ripples in the water. That's what we're looking for. Um, it's a nice premise to use a dream as the, the kind of tutorial... Uh, prologue here because it kind of really gives you an example of like what's going to what's going to be happening next but uh doesn't like give away any of the game at all i like that quite a bit i much prefer that to like a, a standard demo where we're just playing through the beginning of the game okay we gotta be careful here because i'm starting to run out of energy a little bit here i didn't found the fishing rod yet though so take a look over here is that it right there that's it right there you found a fishing rod okay let's run back to the spot we found And I'll select a C to get this thing off my back. Oh, it's, it's going to keep going then. Okay. It's going step by step. Let's get this going here. Okay. Select fishing rod. Use fishing rod. I'm in a, I'm in a ruffled spot. Oh, we have to cast one over here. I see. Wait for the fish to bite. We're in very shallow water here. Oh, God. Got him. Oh, it's going to take a lot of energy to fish here. Look how much energy that's taken. Nice. We got a mackerel. All right, we caught a wild fish. We can go talk to the uh, the bird about that. Ooh, what are you? Hmm. This is a rock that popped up. That's interesting. Oops. You gotta eat a lot of apples here. We gotta make sure we don't pass out in our dream. If you pass out in your dream, you pass out in real life. Okay. Uh, I want to eat some apples before I talk to you. A lot of them, too. There we go. Hello there, bird. I got an I've got a fish. Impressed? Follow the path and use the wooden stairs to find the fishing rod at Mr. Beach. Show me that you catch a wild fish. I got it. I did that. Oh, okay. Yep, yep, yep. I did that. Um, okay, how can I show you? Um, okay. Oh, I have to catch clam and a, and a bluefish and all that stuff. All right, should we plant those other seeds then quick here? Just to get the other, other thing off my back here. There we go. All, those, all the tutorials are off my back now. So we found one spot near the beach. Um, there's one down here. That we saw before. Oh, there it is. Back up a little bit. There we go. All right, what do we got here? And it didn't give me much direction as far as pulling in the fish. I think it just tapped really fast. That's what I did anyways. This is the weighty game. Here we go. Keep pull, 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 pull.
Oh, it was starting to break the line there. It looked like, okay, we caught another mackerel. Let's try a different spot. I gotta stick close to the coast here, though. Here we go. The crab's gonna pinch me. There's like a star there. Hey, we got a clam. Nice. Oh, I see. We press we press E and Q to switch between tabs. That's kind of nice. Then we quick select using the uh, ooh, onion. That's nice. Um, here we go. Last one. Hopefully. So this time I'm trying to click when he swings his thing. I don't know if what's, what I need to do exactly. It wasn't too specific as far as how I reel on the fish here. But there we go. Okay, it looks like the timing was affected by the, the rhythm I was clicking it with there. If I clicked at the right moment when he's pulling back, it seemed to have an effect. Let's get back up. I got another thing that popped up here. Okay. Oops, missed the thing. Oh, it was a turtle. It was a turtle. That one over there turned into a turtle. Let's go over here. Oh, you're like a little like lizard thing. That's fun. Oh, I'm not going to cause you any trouble here, buddy. I want to say hi. What is in this chest? Oh, we can't get to that one for sure. Well, this is more potato. That's fine. Oh, we need health. Oh, gosh. Um, I got to make sure I don't run around too much here. So we need something to get through there. Like an axe or something. What is this one? Tomatoes, nice. All right, let's run back to the. Yeah, let's get back to our buddy here. Our buddy, the bird. It looks like the timing of day is based on how much health, how much energy I have. So I can control, at least in the dream world here, I can control how much time is in the day left. By oh, and maybe not. Maybe it is just time. I was thinking maybe it was maybe it was locked to the, the how much health I had left, or how much energy I had left. But it does not. It's alright. We can run around the dark. We've got plenty of energy here. It's a dream. Why are we going to get tired in a dream? Here we go. Alright. Real fish this time. Here we go. Moment of truth. Bass Masters. There we go. We got a blue fish. Very good. Okay, we got everything we need to return to the parrot. There's more fish to catch, of course. Hello there. Greetings. You found the fish? Yep. Yep, got it all. Fresh fishies once you cook it proper food. Okay. Have you found more seeds? I did. I planted them. I, well, I planted some of them. Um, find more seeds to plant and harvest, catch more fish, sleep anytime, store a lot of energy. Possibilities are endless. Are they endless? I can sleep. Okay, let's get this. Let's get the daylight back. I think that's a good idea. Sleeping within a dream is interesting. All right, we got that. Now it says I'm hungry. Oh, I can cook now. I see ingredients, quest items. How do I cook? Harvest the corn. Oh, nice. Here we go. It's not quite ready yet. Uh, let's get the... Let's get the other crops planted here quick. We have a tomato. We have... Onions. We have more potato. Not very organized over here. That's okay, though. I figure in a dream it's going to be impermanent, right? So, don't want to focus on it too much. Now we're out of those. We got more of these. And we got a lot of tomatoes. Okay, let's get our water here then.
Order these guys up. There we go. Okay. So now it says explore the island. Plant new seeds. Sleep in your bed until your crops have ripened. Have they, oh, did I sleep? Did sleeping actually ripen them at all? Let's just sleep ahead again. Let's sleep again because it's still nighttime, right? We woke up in the middle of the night here. We're fully rested. Okay, these look like they have corn on them now. Nope, okay. Well, there's not much else I can do at the moment, I think. I mean, we can go fishing down there. Probably could explore the island a little more. I didn't run down to the south here. I gotta find an axe. That's what I get to find. Then I can cut down those those uh those bushes probably. This is where I woke up. I didn't go this way before. Here's where we saw the chest. Soon if that has anything. Well, I don't need to explore a whole lot more. I could just sleep until those things are ripened, as he suggests. Can I sleep in the middle of the day? Sure. Sleep my day away. All right, let's wake up. Here we go. Approach a ripe crop. Harvest it. Nice. I wonder if we'll get into any cooking here in the, the demo. Talk to the parrot. Hello. Modi, it looks like you've made a rich harvest. Now you have all you need to cook some delicious food. Thing still missing would be a cooking station. I can help you with that. Oh, well, that's fun. Check it out. You can discover different recipes depending on which ingredients you have. Dishes you cook will allow you to restore energy on the go. While you're able to discover some of the recipes in the remote island spots of the island, some they are irreplaceable. Okay. Now, Modi, go experiment with the ingredients you've acquired. Show me that you're as good a cook as you are a fisher and farmer. Come back with three cooked dishes and I'll be impressed. Okay, we have lots of stuff. Corn of the cob is one of these things. Let's go let's sleep until morning here, though, first. Just to get it to be a little brighter out, out in the video. We'll do some breakfast cooking. All right. We have our cook station now. Okay, so we got to cook three meals. Um, we need corn on the cob, right? Probably corn. It says select a recipe to discover what it is. Okay, cook. Cook that up. Nice. Um, what if I throw one of these out there? Let's see. And he's three recipe ingredients there, three ingredients there, two ingredients there. Start cooking. Select an unknown recipe. Fill the cook it with ingredients. Discover. Okay. So let's like throw a corn in there. What about like a, uh, oh, I don't even know. There's no, there's no like, there's no like clue of what these things might be. We just have to like trial and error to figure these things out. What could this be? Like a potato and fish? I'm gonna make a fish and chips kind of thing? No. That's not what this recipe is. So let's go like tomato and clam. Negative. Okay. What is the trial and error? Uh, and a corn? Onion and corn? Hey, we got roasted corn and the onion. Okay, cool. Uh, cook that guy up. Sure. Okay. Um, let's take those off. So let's discover this one. Okay, let's try this one. Let's try this one with two ingredients. Let's see if we can get that. Let's see if this is the fish and chips one. Negative. Maybe there's gotta be some fish and chips at some point here. What a clam and onion. A clamato. Hey, we got this. Okay, this is something. It's something else. Oh, well, clam and corn. Negative. So this is something. And potato wasn't it. Onion? Got that one right. Okay. Um, what a fish. Negative. Doesn't like that. You're not saying no to that one. I tried that already. 
Let's try something else. So, if potatoes right there. What about this guy? Not that guy either. What about this guy? Negative? Hmm. Onion's the last thing I could try here. Or potato and corn, I guess. I guess, I guess what, what, what would potato and corn make? Oh, we found a corn and potato mash. Okay. Pota mashed potatoes and corn. Cook it up. Okay, we got three meals, then we can go talk to our, uh, our parrot. Oh, Modi. You managed to cook some food without burning it. And it even smells great. Good job. Now I have a perfect task for you to put these provisions to good use. Have you noticed the huge mountainous island to the north? There's a dark cave inside of it. I wonder what secrets it might hold. If you listen carefully, you can hear some very spooky noises coming from the entrance. Interested? Sure. That's what I thought. Since you do not look like you can fly, you'll need a bridge to get there. Atop the cliff behind the apple barrel is a spot which a bridge will fit perfectly, but you'll need some basic components to build a crafting station, okay? I can help with the ladder, but you need to explore the island a little further. Get wood by chopping trees, find the, some basic crafting components. There should be all you need somewhere on this island. I'm sure that an axe will be useful for both these tasks. Why not use this one? Oh, thank you for the axe. I see it. Thank you. Thank you. Be aware that chopping things down is a very tedious task. Got it. I remember taking the food with you when you were ready for a long expedition. Okay. So, let's go grab our axe. Found an axe. All right. Uh, let's equip that guy. And I'm guessing we can use the axe on this thing over here. That we saw before. Just guessing here. Maybe we get to access that chest. Absolutely. Nice. And? Here we go. We got a rope piece. I'm guessing we need that for a bridge also. There we go. Simple wood. I wonder how many wood I need to make a bridge. Probably a lot. Chopping the trees is hard work. I need to get six simple wood. Oh wow, so this, this demo goes a lot deeper than I thought. Uh, we're gonna get the axe now, that's gonna give us access to uh, cutting our trees, collecting stuff to make a bridge, and getting to a new area. Wow, this, this, uh, there's a bit more to do here. I think we're, it's gonna be too much to fit into a single thing here though. So uh, I will wrap up this episode here in our brief look at Stranded Sails Prologue here. Stranded Sails and the Explorers of the Cursed Islands is gonna be available, as I said before, on October 17th. So not long away here now. Uh, if you are interested in checking out this demo for yourself, follow the instructions down below in the description. And I'll be back for something else really soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.